Hey everyone, my name is Akash and I hope you are doing good. So friends, this is the third video of our polyfill series and I hope you all are learning something great from this polyfill series. So friends, today we are going to create polyfills for call apply and bind. So do watch this video till the end and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So friends, let's write the polyfill for call first. Cool. So first I would like to give you one example over here. Like let's suppose this is the object person one it has these two properties name and printage so what this printage is doing over here is it's simply console.log akash is 25 years old okay if we are going to pass this parameter so it will be callable like something like this person one dot printage and we simply need to pass 25 over here this is how we are going to call it but friends let's suppose we have another object Let's suppose we have another object that is person2, it has the name John and we have to perform the same functionality. So are we going to write down this method inside this object as well? No. So what we can do is, we can do is, we can borrow this method. So friends, how we are going to borrow this method is, I have simply removed this method from both of these objects and I have simply, I wrote it down over here. So now what we can do is, we can simply do something like, uh, just remove it. And what we can do is printage this is our function and we are going to call it using this call method and now as you can see the first argument that it takes is this argument and then the rest rest of the arguments so this means that what okay so inside this particular function what should be the value of this that it should point to actually so over here i am going to pass this person one over here and rest of the arguments you can say that it this particular function takes so i can say that 25 cool so now let's have a look at the result so as you can see akash is 25 years old so friends this is the person one this is this particular person one so with the help of this our printage got to know that this should point to this particular object and we got this dot name as akash and age is passed from here cool now let's suppose you want to use the same method with this particular person too so how you can do that you can simply pass person two over here and over here what you can do is person two john is 25 years old cool so friends let's suppose we have to uh, like perform the same functionality using our own polyfill and friends if you have not yet watched these particular videos then please go and watch these videos as well the link is in the description box and friends i also make the videos on front-end interviews as well so do watch those particular videos as well yeah so let's continue so friends as you can see this call was available for this printage so it means that our call method our polyfill that we are going to create should be available for the other functions as well so what should we do so i hope you have heard about prototypal inheritance so what we can do is all these function constructor has the has the access to this property which property i'm talking about prototype so we can simple simply add our call method inside the prototype property of this function so now if this my call will be available or should i say will be accessible by all the instances of the function okay by instances i mean that when you write print age and you will check its type of so it will give you function cool so friends now over here i'm going to write one function like this cool so it's something it looks something like this now let's try to write it like how we are going to call it so we are going to call it using print age and over here we are going to replace it with my call cool and let's say it, it is taking this person one that is the object and this parameter so friends let's pass the argument over here so first one is the object that we are going to get from here and the second one is with, will be the parameters okay so friends i hope you know this this is the red rest parameter rest parameter it means that there can be n number of arguments over here cool so you can pass n number of arguments without telling the receiver function that how many arguments it is going to receive okay all these arguments will be available inside this args now so friends 
one more thing i want to tell you that inside this my call what what will be happening just um, what could be happening just think about it it is simply calling this print age okay it is simply calling this print age on these particular objects so we also need to call this print age inside this so but we cannot do this in a hard coded fashion so how it will be accessible inside this particular polyfill so let me lock down the this for you so friends let's have a look at this particular this so it is the this basically this this actually points to this print age cool so over here we have got access to our function now we have to do is we have to simply add a check over here that if type of this is not equals to function then friends we are simply going to throw a error throw an error that is not callable so we have added this uh, case over here that if type of this is not equal to function that we are simply showing a error that is not callable cool so friends now what we are we are going to do is let's simply try to console.log object over here let's have a look what we get so friends we are getting this name akash cool this is the object that we are getting and as you can see this is our object and friends let me also console this args over here so that we can have a look how it looks so it or it looks like this particular array and you can pass n number of arguments over here all these will be printed as this array i hope this is visible so friends now what we are going to do is we have that we have this object and i am going to add a key that is fn inside this object and i am going to assign this key the value of this particular this that is our function cool so let's see how our object looks after this so friends the our object something looks like this name and function key so friends now we what we need to do is we simply need to call this function like this and we are simply going to pass these arguments and we have to spread this arguments over here cool so friends uh, let me first comment it down let's have a look at so cool as we can see it has printed akash ingole is 25 years old so it is printing the output that we wanted once again let me tell you what we have done over here let's remove the console log first cool so friends this is our polyfill so as we all know that this is the call method which is accessible by all the functions all these functions so with the help of this prototype property we have made it accessible through all these instances of function and after that what we have done is we all know that it takes the object that is the context so we have passed simply pass this person one and it can also take the other arguments as well okay which are handled over here now after that what we have done is inside this object that we are receiving we have added one more property that is fn okay that is function and we have simply and that the value of that particular fn is nothing but this particular function why so that it can easily access this particular name okay so that it can easily access this particular name because what we are doing over there is we are simply attaching it over here so when we are simply attaching it over here so this particular this dot name is easily accessible with our function printage cool i hope this is clear and after that we are simply calling that function with the arguments that we are sending from here and as you can see call sim receive simple arguments like simple comma separated arguments so friends this was the polyfill for call now let's i hope you have understood the concept how you can write the polyfill for call now you can pause this video and you can try writing the polyfill for apply on your own so i hope you are able to write the polyfill for apply as well now let me also show you how we can write the polyfill for apply so friends let's first try to write like how we actually write the apply okay so we can call this function printage on this person too using this apply also and the only difference over here is that apply takes the argument in array format 
cool so let's see the result what we get john is 25 years old so let's try changing it also cool john is 26 years old so this is how you can call the apply call this print age with the help of apply so let's copy this piece of code first because this is also going to be somewhat similar and let's uncomment it cool so all we need to do is we are simply going to call it my apply and it is also going to uh, receive this object and argument one thing that you can do is friends let me show you one thing first cool so what if i am not passing over here 26 as array and what if i am passing it simple 26 so it gives us create list array called an object it gives us this type error cool let's write it down here it gives us this particular error now while you are doing this okay you have written my apply over here you have added this check of um, basically type of function if it is not function then not callable but yeah so friends what else we can do is we are simply checking the type of this particular argument if it is not array so how we are going to check it we are simply going to do something like array dot is array and we are going to simply pass this argument inside it cool and if it does not pass this test case so what we are going to do is we are simply going to throw this particular error that is create list from array like called on non object cool and rest of the things could be the same what now what we can do is we simply call it using our apply method so printage my apply and we are simply passing this person to and let's say the age is 12 and uh, cool we have simply added obj dot function and this is the r function that is printage and we are simply calling it using these arguments cool so let's have a look so friends uh, this is quite strange because it gave us the output john is 12 years old but it should have been crashed okay cool so over here we have to add this check that if it is not an array okay so if it is not an array then it should throw the error let's have a look now cool so as we can see um it gave us an error type error of create list from array like called on non object cool so it is giving us the error for this particular use case as well so now what you can do is you can simply pass 12 and let's have a look john is 12 years old so friends i hope the polyfill for apply is also clear to you all now let's move ahead and now let's write the polyfill for bind method so over here also you can what you can do is you can pause this particular video and you can try writing the bind method for yourself like so uh, let's write it using the javascript method first so let's have a look at this bind so printage dot bind one more thing what this bind does is we have passed we have simply passed this person two over here okay uh, let's say person one and what it does is it simply returns as a copy basically it returns as a new function you can say and now this new function can also take the arguments so let's write the argument over here and cool we have got akash is 25 years old so this printage has some like uh, different signature you can say that we sim we can simply it also takes this context over here and but what is does it it returns us a copy of a function it returns us a new function and we can simply call that function we can pass the arguments to that functions as well to that function as well cool so uh, let's try how we can like write the polyfill for bind method so let's copy these uh, this piece of code so now what we need to do let's uncomment it and let's name it my bind my bind method and friends also this is also going to take this particular use case that if type of this is not equal to function then it is not callable and it doesn't require this because we are going to sim uh, like pass arguments simply like 25 comma like comma separate arguments it, it takes so now what we need to do is as i told you it returns a function so simply you also return a function cool so we are also returning a function over here cool we are also returning a function over here so this piece of code we also need this piece of code so here comes our obj dot function equals this so we are adding this property inside this object that is nothing but this particular uh, function that is printage cool so after this as we told you as i told you that this is going to return us a function so 
yeah this is going to return as a function that will be callable and inside that what we are going to do is we are simply going to call this particular function cool so what you can do is over here so friends this is our bind method cool so this bind method can also take n number of arguments over here you can also pass something anything that you can that you want to pass anything like let's suppose a cache or any integer value or any string value okay so this for that we have this particular ARDS over here and we can also pass n number of arguments to this new function so for that also we need to have something over here like ARDS2 cool and we can name it as ARDS1 and finally we can call our particular uh, function with something like ARGS1 comma ARGS2 I'm simply spreading these arguments cool so friends I hope this should work let's have a look at it so we have print h and over here we have my bind and let's see if it works or not so cool as we can see if it is working Akash is 25 years old let's try uh, giving it 12 cool so friends it is working so friends uh, let's say uh, how about we tweak this a little bit more so let's say uh, I want to pass something uh, over here as well like 25 and I want to pass over here the year of my birth let's suppose 1998 we can say or 1997 we can say anything cool uh, so how this will work is let's see what happens now so it is giving us Akash is 25 years old yeah cool it will give us Akash is 25 years old so how we can use this particular thing is we simply need to modify this a little bit we can simply pass this over here year and we can say that Akash is uh, 25 years old and cool now let's have a look so it is saying that Akash is 25 years old and 1997 born cool so if you want to play with it you can like play with it like in this particular manner so friends I hope this my bind polyfill is also clear to you all so let's have a look at it once more what we have to do is we have to simply attach the R function to inside this prototype property that is accessible to all these object constructor function constructor and then you simply need to write your own implementation so in order to write your own implementation you need to understand the initial bind method first then only you can write your own polyfill so friends i hope these polyfill series this particular polyfill series is interesting for you all and you are able to learn something new and if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching